Welcome to the Sender Manual Master Machine assembly film. Thank you for buying a Sender Manual Master Machine. This step-by-step -step guide will help you assemble your Manual Master Machine quickly using only a screwdriver or impact drill with a POSI 2 driver bit. Each machine is pre-assembled twice during manufacture to ensure all the components work together. The assembly process is similar for the mini machine, the standard machine and the plus size machine. Please note that earlier machines did not come with a rear strap slot, a second strap or a spacer. You should protect your floor and create space to lay all of the components out for easy identification. Your manual machine comes with two platforms, two side panels, one front batten, three rear battens, one donut, two platform blocks, one 9mm spacer, an installation guide and fixing screws and two adjustable straps. With your drill driver to hand, take the two side panels and lay them on the floor as shown. Take the only batten which has eight pre-drilled holes and turn this vertically with the square mesh facing to the front. Take the right side panel and place the first slot into the batten. Seat this with a firm push. Take the left side panel and place the first slot into the batten. Place this with a firm push. Take one of the battens with six pre-drilled holes and turn this vertically with the square mesh facing to the back. Place this into the rear slots on the side panels. Take the final two battens with six pre-drilled holes. These create the space which best matches your wheel size. Place them into either the wide or narrow setting. We shall cover the position of these in more detail later. Next, take the right platform and place this over the battens, making sure you push the platform tight against and flush with the side panels. Take the left platform and repeat this process. The donut can now be inserted. This may require a wiggle and a firm push to seat tight into one of the sets of slots. Put the four by 50 millimeter screws into the pre-drilled holes in the platforms. Before screwing them into the battens below, check and close the gap between the platform and the side panels. Hold the platforms in place by hand or foot when driving the screws into the holes. We recommend not overdriving the screws as removing them later may damage the face of your manual machine. Next, take the platform blocks and add the four by 30 millimeter screws. Turn the machine over and make sure the battens and side panels are flush and tight. Take the blocks and place them against the underside of the platforms and hard up against the side panels. These blocks are essential for holding your machine together. Drive the screws into the side panels as shown. Next, we will adjust the middle two battens for wheel size. Please note, there are so many combinations of wheel and tire size and widths that we cannot advise which position will work best for you. The narrow setting should fit 24 to 26 inch wheels, whilst the wide setting should fit 27.5 and 29 inch wheels. It is possible to remove the batten nearest the front altogether for extra large wheels and tyres. When the battens are placed, you may find that an unweighted tyre is still a few millimetres off the ground due to the nobbles on the tyres. Once loaded with body weight, the tyre should touch the ground. The donut has three positions. The rear position should fit 27.5 or 29 inch wheels, whilst the middle setting should fit 24 and 26 inch wheels. Remove the donut by placing a foot over the top of both side panels and pulling upwards firmly with both hands. Once you have adjusted your manual machine to your bike, screw the 4x50mm screws into place to hold the battens. Next, we will adjust the manual machine for tire width. Take your bike and place the rear wheel between the side panels. A good fit is essential to reduce the chances of damaging your rear wheel and to provide maximum amount of assistance with the minimum amount of lateral movement. A good firm push should seat the rear wheel and trap the nobbles on your tire behind and underneath the donut. A little lateral play is normal and inflating or deflating your tyre may improve the fit further. In the next example, we use a 26 inch wheel with a narrow tyre. The difference in movement is significant. 
In this case, remove the donut and add a 9mm spacer. You can purchase additional spacers, a 9mm, a 12mm or an 18mm for maximum flexibility and fit. Please note, we only recommend one spacer on each side of your tyre. The manual machine in this film has a rear strap point which allows you to fix your wheel with added security. In most circumstances this should not be required. Finally, take the adjustable strap and place this through the two circular holes at the front of the machine. Place this over your bottom tube, in front of and above the bottom bracket. Please make sure you protect your frame. Make sure the strap sits behind your chain ring and away from the crank arms. Pivot the bike upwards on the rear wheel and adjust the strap so the bike stops just past the balance point. Your manual machine is now ready for use. Please find and place the machine on a flat even area with clear fall space all around. The machine works best on grass or gravel where the battens are less likely to move. Adding some ballast to the rear or having a partner stand on the platforms at the back will reduce movement while you gain confidence. Wearing a helmet, gloves and pads will reduce injuries. If you need further information or help, please email us at support at sender-ramps.com.